welcome back to the channel. This is Eerie Enigma. Let's just start. September 6th, 1997. In the small town of Nibelheim, Nibelheim, a series of bizarre disappearances have been occurring over the past few months. The town's people are frightened and rumors are spreading of something sinister lurking in the nearby woods. The local authorities are stumped and have called upon the expertise of Detective Connor Novak to investigate. It's a manly name. Am I playing as Detective Connor Novak? This is Detective Connor. Yep. I'm almost there now. Copy that. How's the situation working? It's raining heavily out here, and I haven't seen anyone or anything yet. Be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with here. Keep us updated on anything you find. Guys, I'm going to keep moving. Connor out. I love how the way he talks. It's like an action movie hero. I think his name, his voice, it just goes well together. Oh. What the hell just happened? I want to know the same thing too. What? Down the hallway, I guess. Or not. I want to keep moving. No. Nope. Again. What's the door? Towards the door. Oh. Okay. This looks very Resident Evil like. Like the first one. This place gives me creeps. I'm glad I brought my gun with me. Yeah, detective, so it would be weird if you didn't have a gun on you. This feels very Resident Evil 1 like. Like this area here was a dining room in the first Resident Evil as well. Like if you had to go through this door, the first Resident Evil, you'd find a dining room here as well. It's like first person Resident Evil 1. I'm sorry, what? Do I hear a demon P54 forming around? What's it behind door number 3? Oh! What the hell was that? Headshot! I didn't waste any bullets at least. Well, I wasted one bullet, but that's it's the bullet that did the job. I can hardly believe it. I've actually done it. The creature has emerged. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. A true marvel of science and magic. I've spent hours just observing it, trying to understand its movements and behavior. I feel like I'm on the cusp of a breakthrough, something that will change the course of human history. But for now, I must proceed with caution. The creature is powerful and unpredictable, and I cannot risk losing control. Well, he he lost control. How did this happen? I don't know him, but he looks like he was tortured by that thing. This is sickening. Key. Exhibition room key. Exhibition room key? Is this the exhibition room? Well, it looks like an exhibition room. I mean, it's exhibiting. What's behind door number one? It's locked. What's behind door number two? It's also locked. Door number three? It's also locked. <laughs> it's gonna... Door number four? It's also gonna be locked. <laughs> yep, I was right, it was locked. What? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to find. A key. A dining room. I already have the dining room one. Don't I? That's why I entered the dining room. Oh wait, there's a balcony section, is that, is that what it's for? It's almost exactly Resident Evil 1, there's also a balcony section by the dining room. What the hell was that? Into the dining room. Oh, okay. There's more of them. There's more of them. Nope, that's not how you headshot. Oh god. I wasted all the bullets. No, I wasted all the bullets. I, I, I'm out of bullets, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead. I've been running tests on the creature, and the results are astounding. Its mere presence seems to have a destabilizing effect on reality, causing strange phenomena to occur within the mansion. I've observed ghostly apparitions, twisted creatures, and even entire rooms that seem to shift and morph before my eyes. It's almost like the creature is warping reality around itself. I must continue my research and unlock the secrets of this phenomenon. There's a safe here. I have no I have no I have no ammo still. What is that? Passcode 13. This code is incomplete. 
There must be another piece of paper laying around somewhere in this mansion. I need to check every corner. Thirteen. Oh, did I put it here? I'm gonna put it here. Oh, no, 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 no. How did you even do that? This must be some kind of middle trick. No, it's, it's, nope, I don't want to die. No, not yet, not yet, nope. Can you please, ma'am, ma'am, please, there must be some way we can talk about this. I have no ammo to shoot you. I mean, I, we go in circles, but ma'am, 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 ma there must be some kind of arrangement I can make with you. Oh, there's a code here. Uh, I, I survived it, I actually survived it. I didn't expect myself to. 1770, got it. Yes, and ammo. Got a key and a letter here. I'm beginning to see the true extent of my mistake. The creature's power is be growing beyond my control. And it seems to be summoning other entities from beyond our world. These entities are not like anything I have seen before. And they're becoming increasingly aggressive and starting to look more horrific. I fear for my safety. And of that of anyone who might get near the mansion. I must find a way to stop the creature before it's too late. It's too late, man. It's too late. Pick up key. Living room key. Living room key. Is that the other side? Yeah, this feels so much like Resident Evil. Because the same thing in Resident Evil. If you had to go through this door, you'd also find a statue here. As well as the dining room. It feels so much like the first Resident Evil. And I know this because I've been playing the first Resident Evil lately. Because uh, I'm quite new to the PC. Because I've, I had it from last year, but it's only been from last year that I've actually been using a PC. Most of the time, I've just been a console gamer, and I've kind of wanted to go into Resident Evil. But I wanted to do it on the PC to kind of get used to the controls and to get a better vibe of it. And so I've got the first one currently on my PC, and I've been playing it on the side once or twice. Like, uh, just once in a while, I might actually just go into it and just play it. And it feels so much like that. I actually touched the mic, the pop filter. But yeah, it feels so much like that. Oh! Oh, we still a bullet there. What was the point? Pick that up. Yes. Okay, okay. Note. Only when the katanas are arranged accordingly. I think it has something to do with the paintings. I think it does, Connor. Oh, there is it. Grab red katana. How do I find out which is... Something behind me just triggered. Was it you that triggered? Yep. A secret passage. Oh! Okay, so we did. We finally fixed that puzzle. So there has to be something in this room, right? Take blood capsule. That thing. What must I do with this blood capsule? What? Is there anything I can read that can help? Nope, I'm just taking a blood capsule. Please don't jump scare me. Is she gonna appear here? I feel like she is. Oh, you. Oh, got ammo for too. Nice. What does the blood capsule do? You died. Well, do I still have the blood capsule at least? This guy is gonna come charging in, yep. Yes, headshot again. Draw blood. Oh, wait, what? Why do I need blood from you? What do I do with this? Oh, wait, do I put the blood capsule back? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Put this back? Yep. So let's collect Great. all the blood and do what this. Did I just trigger? A bomb. That that sounds like a bomb. Don't know what you triggered, but it's not good. It, it's. What's this sound? What? Oh, that opened up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get owned. Nope, I can't move at all. I waste all the bullets. <laughs> ah, ew. Oh, look at me, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have any bullets. 
<laughs> Damn it. Oh, they gave me a full round. Full clip. What is it round? Same thing? Is it? I don't know. I need to conserve this. So conservative. Yeah, clipped. Clip. I don't even. It's better without aiming. It's so much better without aiming. No, no, no. I had a feeling it was gonna catch me. Okay, let me just use the aiming. Okay, we have one life left. Oh, God, I've been right by this guy. Okay, got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, that was badass. Oh my God, who are you? There's no power. I, I wish I bullet. Oh, there's power. I'll keep my, my crosshairs on you. Oh! They use the epic boss guy that I have to defeat? Oh, never mind. Just exploded. Thank you for playing. Well, that was Eerie Enigma. It seemed a lot like Resident Evil 1. Certain parts of it at least. Like the, well, the levels how it looked. Storyline otherwise was a lot different. I had a lot of fun with that, which was very unexpected. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the creators of the developers' games in future. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.